What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed Origins. I am very unhappy. I am depressed, I am angry, I am furious right now. And the reason behind this, let me explain. So, I recorded the last episode of the main story. Probably the most important episode in this series. Um, now, usually when I record, um, I, some, I don't have as much space on my laptop, so I constantly upload videos as I'm recording new ones. Um, and usually I still like, consume up all the space on my laptop. And when that happens, occasionally one of my videos will be like half uploaded to my files, but it will not like, it won't work. So I delete the half processed video, upload old videos, and then, re, um, and then reprocess that new video. Um, unfortunately, after, after I recorded the last episode, um, it said, oh, you have insufficient space on your laptop. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll delete the half-processed video of the last episode and upload old videos and then re-upload the last episode tomorrow. And unfortunately, by deleting the half-processed video, I've done this many times, but it's never affected it before. So I deleted the half-processed video, which deleted the whole video from my computer. So I have no last episode. I am not happy about that. The second it happened, I was furious. I was ready to friggin' punch a hole in the wall, and right now I'm just wandering around. Apparently I'm in Marmarica, wherever the hell that is. Um, but yeah, I have no last episode, and it's... That's not okay. It's not friggin' okay. So, in this episode, I will do my best to explain how the ending went down. I really wish you were able to see the final episode because it was so powerful, like, though. It was just so good. Um, so, I'll do my best to explain how the last episode went down. So, Aya traveled to Rome to kill Caesar and Septimius. Um, so, the first thing she did was she killed Septimius. But during the fight with Septimius, he referred to as Caesar as the father of understanding. And if you remember, in every like Templar meeting, they always said, may the father of understanding guide us. So technically, that means that Caesar is known as the father of understanding. He is like the first like Templar Grand Master in a way. So I didn't really know that until now. So, that is incredible to me. Um, that, like, Caesar is the father of understanding. That is really cool. Um, so, after Aya killed Septimius, she then f went and killed Caesar. There's a lot of spoilers in this, I know. If you haven't, I understand. But, um, anyway, so she killed Caesar. Um, Caesar said that he will, like, live on in legend, and he will be, like, a, like a martyr, almost. Um, Aya disagrees with him, and as Caesar takes his final breath, Aya says, Requiescat in pace, Caesar. And if you remember, Requiescat in pace is something that Ezio Auditore used to say all the time after he would kill his victims, or his targets, or whatever. Um... After Aya killed Caesar, she, um, I'm just wandering around right now, um, but yeah, after Aya killed Caesar, she went to find Cleopatra, and Cleopatra is still the queen of Egypt, and Aya threatened Cleopatra, saying, if you are not a good queen to the people of Egypt, I will kill you, just straight up, like, I don't care who you are, I don't care what we did together, what work we co completed together, if you are not a good queen to the people, I will kill you. And after that, Aya wrote a letter to Bayek, 
and I have the letter in the inventory here. Uh, here. Uh, my love, Bayek. Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome, yet no one knows of our existence. Like a moon, we are the hidden ones. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward, remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Despite it all, we dance and they die. From darkness we have come, and darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever, but this creed will. The creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure, for your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer who I was. I have renounced all love I once had. I have renounced Aya. I have killed Aya. I am now known as the Hidden One, as Amunet. And if you remember, um, in Assassin's Creed 2, there was like a, a den, or um, I'm trying to remember the word, it's a chamber, I guess, for lack of a better term. There was a chamber in the Auditory Villa in Assassin's Creed 2 with six assassin statues, and one of those statues was Amunet, and if you read the description of the statue in that game, it says that she killed Cleopatra. So Cleopatra is still alive in this game, but later on, it, Cleopatra is killed by Amunet. Um, what else to cover? Um... Um, what else do I need to cover? Um, so, they created the Assassin Brotherhood, Bayek and Aya. They are the first ones to create the Brotherhood. Um, and their main goal throughout this game and throughout their lives is to fight for the freedom of the people and to fight against uh, corruption, such as like corrupt politics like Caesar, well, politicians like Caesar and uh, Cleopatra. Um, as uh, as uh, Bayek and Aya go through this journey, their entire mission is to avenge the death of their son, Hemu. And through, as Bayek, you can tell, like, the anguish and the hatred and just the feeling of being lost without Hemu. And now, like, whenever he sees Aya, that's what he is reminded of. And Aya, when Aya sees Bayek, that's what she's reminded of, the loss of their son. Um, and I want to point something out as well. In the last cutscene, um, there was a scene where Bayek... Tahira and other assassins were going around the streets and they come across this house and inside is a woman and she has children taken hostage there. Um, I'm probably going to do a couple of these side missions while I'm just explaining my story. Um, but uh, as... Um, fuck, where did I leave off? Um... Uh, so, yeah, Baya, Baya, <laughs> Bayek and Aya, their entire mission is to avenge the death of Hemu, but whenever they see each other, that is all they are reminded of, of the loss of their son. And they try so hard to just move forward and do their job of looking after the people and protecting the freedom of Egypt. And they created the Brotherhood to... To, to make that happen, to protect the freedom of the people. And they, it was the beginning of all of this was to avenge the death of Hemu, but they learned of so many more things going on in the game. They learned that, um, they learned that there's much more at play here when they figured out who the Order of Ancients are. And during this, they, they meet so many people that believe in them, that believe in their morals and their creed, and they want to join them and fight for the freedom of the people as well. Um, I'd like to mention something. There was a... Um, 
what was it? Uh, it was in the fight against Flavius. Flavius, um, after Bayek kills Flavius, he is, um, he sees an image of Hemu, and Bayek, he can't kill Flavius, he can't finish him off. He, he keeps saying, like, I can't do it, I can't finish you, because if he kills uh, Flavius, then the only thing, like, that he has left of Hemu is gone. Everything of his mission to avenge Hemu's death leads up to Flavius, and if he kills Flavius, the memory of Hemu is gone, and it's, he cannot let him go. And um, in Bayek's vision, um, he, he sees Hemu, and Hemu says to him, it's all right, Papo, you can, you can finish him off. It's okay. I might be dead, but I know you will continue to look out for the people of Egypt. You will look after the sons of Egypt. As he's as he said before in the meeting with all the assassins together, he's like, "You will look after the people, and it'll be fine. And when my time or when your time comes, we will meet together in the field of reeds, like the uh, like their version of heaven, I guess." So he eventually is able to finish off Flavius, but he is he's very struggling with the loss of Hemu because he knows that he has to let him go. Um, and after that, he speaks with Aya, and he says, like, what are we of now? Like, well, that's what Aya says to him. Like, you are, you were once known as Bayek of Siwa. What are you of now? Like, what is your morals? What do you fight for? And he says, I fight for the creed. I fight for the brotherhood. I fight for the freedom of the people. And their mission to build something here in the brotherhood became bigger than they could ever imagine. You have people like Altair and Ezio, uh, you have Altair Ibn Lahad, Ezio Auditori, Connor Kenway, Edward Kenway, Haytham Kenway. True, Haytham was a Templar, but he was once an assassin. Uh, Arno Dorian, Jacob and Evie Fry, um, Shea Patrick Cormick. Like, all these assassins are, they are part of this brotherhood that became so much bigger than what Aya and Baya could ever imagine as well as the Order of Ancients. They have also built something bigger than they could have imagined as well. Um, Caesar became like a martyr for the Templars, whereas Bayek and Aya kind of became like a martyr for the Assassins in a way, although they are not mentioned until now. I mean, obviously Aya was mentioned as Amunet, but that you don't really know who Amunet was until now. Um, there was a... In the last cutscene of this of the main story, um, uh, Bayek and Tahira. I already I tried to mention this before, but um, Bayek and Tahira and a bunch of the other assassins were running through the streets, and they came ac across a house with a woman inside, and she had children hostage. Um, all these children are just following me. That's kind of creepy. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, Bayek and Tahir and the other assassins going through the streets, they come across a house with a woman inside who was holding children hostage. And that night, the woman grabbed a knife and was planning to cut off the hand of one of the children. And Bayek sees this, and he runs up to the woman and kills her. And the little boy is, like, scared. He's afraid. Bayek says, go home. You're free now. And so they rescue the children from that house, and they just leave the house, except for that one boy that almost got his hand cut off. He, he says to Bayek, I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. And Tahira says, should we just take him to the bureau? And Bayek says, no. And he looks at the boy with the most innocent look and says, I'll take you home. And that is something that... You can see the character arc in Bayek, because in the beginning of the game, when Hemu's friend Chenzela was taken hostage by the Order of Ancients, Bayek screams at Hemu. He says, go home now. I will save Chenzela. Hemu says, I can't. I'm scared. Bayek says, no, just go home now. And that is what he does different. He learned what he did wrong, and he knows that, he knows that now. And... He wanted to bring that child home safely, whereas he wasn't the right father figure in that moment when he wanted to, um, when he was with Hemu that day. That's 
that is something that I find incredibly important. Like he, he learned where he was wrong, and he wanted to fix that mistake that he made those all those years ago. Um, and it just shows that he is planning to be the father figure to all of the children of Egypt. And you see that a lot throughout this game. Um, there was the uh, there was one particular side mission I remember. I did it off screen, but what happened was um, uh, Bayek had to rescue this one. Well, it's not a lot of experience, but anyway, Bayek had to rescue this one boy from like a shed or something. Like he was being held hostage by bandits, and this woman, um, after he rescues the boy. The boy's mother, well, it's not really a boy, he's like a middle-aged dude, he's like 20. Um, but after he rescues the guy there, he uh, brings him home to his mother, and the mother says, like, Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that boy. Like, he, it's hard for you to understand for someone who doesn't have children. And without missing a beat, Bayek throws in some amazing wisdom and just says, let him choose his own path. He's old enough now, he will make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, and he will learn from them and become better for it. And that is just something that just drops that woman down. Like, he's like, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I've had kids before. Don't, don't think I'm, I don't know how to be a parent. Like, I know what I'm doing. And that's just so cool to me. Um, another scene, like, it was, um, it was early in the game. We met up with another guy, and he had, like, four kids, and they all called Bayek, like, Uncle Bayek. And uh, he was playing hide-and-seek with the kids. Um, and also, in the storyline where you had to fight the uh, the Order of Ancients member known as the Crocodile, um, and you meet up with the young girl, Shadia. And you can tell, even then, Bayek is still, like, a father figure, or, like, an uncle or something like that, to Shadia. And, like... It just shows that he is a caring person and will do anything to protect the innocence, really. Like, the innocent of any, innocence of any person. Like, he will protect the people, he will fight off the corruption, and that is what the creed and the brotherhood was formed upon. To fight for the freedom of the people, and to fight off the corrupt politicians and corrupt guards and everything. Um... It is just so amazing to me, all of that. I so wish you were able to see the last episode. It friggin' it just irks me that that I don't have it. Anyway, um before I end this, I want to do there's a couple missions here. Some of them are ones I plan to do on screen. Um, Fires of Dionysus, I will do that one on screen. Um, the Trials here, Trial of Anubis and Trial of Sobek, I will do those ones on screen, but I need to be level 40 and 43. Unfortunately, the highest level I can get to is 40, so I'll be three levels below this one. Um, the... Uh, I'll do the Fires of Dionysus. There's a couple missions on the map that, um, like this one. I don't know what this is. Here comes a new challenger. Um, I want to try that. There's also the War Elephants. Um, I've mentioned that I will fight the War Elephants on screen. Um, the heck is this? Light Among the Dooms. Ooh, I know what that one is, and I will be doing that one on screen as well. Um, I want to do at least one of them. Um, I'm going to try... God, what do I want? Um, I'm going to do Light Among the Dooms. I remember what this one is. <sighs> It says I need to be level 40, but I feel like that's... T if I'm under level, it doesn't feel right. You know what? I'm going to do the... Um, the Fires of Dionysus. Uh, that's pretty far away. Hopefully I can fast travel. 
Uh, I think that was actually... Oh, no, wait, I know where it is. It was right over here, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty close by. Yeah, I'll do this one. Hopefully I'll have enough space so that uh, it won't delete everything. But yeah, I, I just wanted to um, explain how the ending went down. Um, I'm so mad that you guys weren't able to see it. Uh, I mean, it's out there, so you can find it, but it just... I know, like, it would have been better if you were able to see it through my eyes, I guess, or through my channel. But, uh, nevertheless, we're gonna continue on. There's only a few side missions that I want to do on screen. I won't do the remaining side missions on screen. There's a lot of them, and I'm not gonna do them all. Alright. Um... If I don't finish this side mission, um, then I will... Uh, do it in the next episode. But this was, um, this is one of the things that I wanted to do on screen. I do remember that much. I also want to take a look at that Here Comes the New Challenger. I don't know what that is. I feel like that has to do with the, um, with the, with the fighting arena. I could be wrong. It doesn't sound like I am. Like, here comes a new challenger. It feels like it would be a fighting arena. Alright. Let's have to speak to the farmer. Hello, good sir. I am Bayek, a Medjay. A real Medjay. Not a Philakitai, I hope. <laughs> I'm Zahra. This was my farm. Who burned it down? Hordes. The naked Iadets trying to drive us out. They are lucky I wasn't here. I would have spread their guts across my fields. I am going to warn my Greek neighbor. His farm might be next. Please join me. I will follow you, Zahra. We have to protect this land. Yes. It is rich and fertile and worth fighting over. Like me. <laughs> His farm isn't far from here. See if you can keep up, Merjai. I was going to say, like, where are you going? What like... brings you to the Fayum? We get few visitors this way. Magis. I am... hunting murderers. You came to the right place. Full of dogs worth killing. The Fayum is not the oasis it once was. How long have your farms been getting burned? Since the dawn of the new Ptolemy. Most of the farmers, they could not fight back and got pushed out. My family was amongst those who fought. The struggle became our way of life. I fought so much I forgot to fall in love. I am a romantic though. My father wanted me to marry and give him lots of grandchildren. Go! I do not suppose your Greek neighbor is harboring these fire bandits. That would make things simpler. But no, those are definitely uninvited guests. Keep us safe, Disney. Oh shit, well, there's quite a few people. You are not. You keep it safe. Oh yeah. Headshot. I'm still mad that I wasn't able to get the uh the last video. So now I have to take out my frustration on all these fools. Ah, that felt good. Okay, um... Find and rescue the Greek landowner. Are you alright? I... I don't think so. That is wretched, You're heavier than you look. Maybe you would like me to carry him. I got it. No need to be smart. Oh, okay. Are you alright, buddy? Zahra, that was frightening. Nek, beyond we cannot live scared. You must fight back. You truly are a gift from the god, Zahra. I tell all my Greek friends of Zahra, the warrior farmer. 
We need to find the bandit's nest. I might know where it is. Servants track riders coming south from the White Desert. There is nothing out that way except some ruins. And they mention the name Son of Ra. I think he is their leader. Son of Ra? He will soon be the son of nothing. Into the desert we go by him. You heard her. <laughs> what was up with that, dude? You just dropped to the ground again. Find and assassinate the okay. bandit leader. Let's get there. The son of Ra. Well, he's a son of a bitch, that's for sure. Uh, I need to hop on my horse, because I don't feel like walking there. Um. Uh, what, what else could I say? I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I'm missing from the ending. Oh, um, there's something I need to do, and I will do this off, not off screen, on screen. Um, I remember we went to the vault back in Siwa. Um, I feel like the, um... I feel like if we go back to the vault, there will be another mesh- A uh, mess me. I cannot talk. <laughs> I feel like if we go back to the vault, there will be another message, like, from the Isus or from, like, the narrators when we were inside the temples. And they would, they would always tell us, like, a special, uh, like, a special message. So I, I'm gonna go back to the, um, to the, uh, vault again at some point soon. And it will be on screen, so... Not to worry. My little children, we live in faithless times. You see it, the, I, I don't know. Not their leader. The son of Ra, the real leader, has been giving orders from prison. He's being held by soldiers at a nearby caravansaray. He has been ordering the bandits. He thinks he's a god and invincible. Then we'll make the neck of the bleed and prove him wrong. All right then. Then let's prove him wrong. Uh, let me check a little. I can't. I don't know. Um. Oh, it's all the way up there. Um. If I am correct, I think there's a war elephant nearby. So I want to get that synchronization point on my way. Because that way I can just fast travel back back here. Without having to uh, travel all the way out to, to the middle of uh... ah, see, I was right. I know that golden question mark is the, the war elephant, elephant, elephant. My God, English is apparently a hard language for me today. Yenas, stupid Yenas. Okay. Part of me is kind of tempted to uh, go through some of these golden question marks to see if there's any like other hidden messages in temples. Oh, no, never mind. I was uh, wrong about one of those. That over there is the the uh, stone circle. That uh, that's a different side mission. But I'm pretty sure the where's the other one? That one. The 439 meters one, that's all the way over there, so that is, um, if I'm correct, where the war elephant is. I think I can actually see the fence over there. But uh, we'll take out the uh, son of Ra first off, and then we'll, then we'll deal with the war elephants. Son of Ra. You're a son of a bitch, that's what you are. Um. Ah, okay. <coughs> I was like, where the hell am I going, going right now? But it's over there. I think this will actually be the last part of this mission. If it is, then this mission went by a lot shorter than I expected it to be.
I am tempted to loot everything in that fort, though, because I feel like it uh, has some nice valuables inside. Oh shit, there's also a Lakatai nearby. Um, should probably survey the, uh, the fort a bit. Are there any... So there's the guys there. King there. Is there any, uh... Ah, there is. I was looking for a br the brazier. Hmm. Oh, shit. Two treasures, one cap. Oh, th okay, so everything's marked. Okay, good. Good, good. So I just need to, um... Okay, I'm paranoid that I didn't, uh, sabotage this. I have to double check. Okay, I got it. I don't need everyone and their mothers coming after me right now. They do whatever he says. I'm more scared of what they will do next. Somehow he's still communicating with them. I have to try and get down there. Ah, there we go. Oh, I, wait, I can just do it through the... Cool! I did not know I could do that. That's awesome. Just through the thing like Batman. Nice. Um. Hello? Oh, hi! This... Does the other... No, he doesn't see me. Okay, good. Okay. Well, I just have one more box to loot, and then I can kill that guy. That guy. Hey, there's that guy. Something is not right. You're right, something is not right. Oh, shit, there was more guys here than I expected. Crap. No, you dumbass. You, you just hit the horse for no reason. My god, you're stupid. Damn it! There we go. Alright. Commander is dead. Captain is dead. One more chest to loot, and then I can, um... And then I can get the, uh, bandit guy. But how do I get inside there? Uh, it's probably over here. Yeah, it was right over there. Yep. Wow, I have everyone after me right now. I do have everyone and their mother after me, jeez. Hey! Oh, two for one, cool. I mean, there's nothing wrong with fighting. It gives me more experience, and more experience lets me uh, level up quicker. But this is not the true reason why I'm here. I need to get that uh, son of raw. Ow. Ow. Can you not? Can you stop it? Ow! Fuck off. Stop ducking. You little shit. Hey, stop it. Oh my god. Oh, piss off. You know what? Go light the brazier, I dare ya. Do it. Dummy. Alright. Hello, sir. I've come to assassinate you. And this was technically the main reason why I wanted to show this video on screen. Or this mission on screen. Uh, you die easily for a god! I am nobody. Nobody. But when the son of Ra stands on the mountain and says, Do it! It gets done. Let, you told them to murder! I am not sorry. Is Bayakasiwa sorry? I lost my family. 
You lost your family. We have the right to do anything we want to anyone. No! We are different. You burnt farms. You killed innocents. You're insane! Hypocrite! Yeah! The pile of 1,000 dead bodies in front of me. It doesn't change me. The world will burn. The Order won't save it. You will burn with it, Magi. May you walk the land of the Duat. So I'm curious if he was a part of the uh, Order of Ancients. He is dead. I should tell Zahra. Oh, luckily for me, she's just around the corner. I don't have to travel too far. Zahra! That's a cool name. If I ever have a kid, I should name my daughter Zahra. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's right over there. I'm like, she couldn't have gone too far. Ah, right through there. Bingo. Zara! Miss. Hello. Smelly camels. Son of Ra is dead. It was disturbing. His madness almost made sense. If you stare deeply enough into any madness, there is a logic. So what now? The fires are stopped. Your farms are safe. I don't know. I am hungry, though. Now we return to the farm to feast in peace. Is that an invitation? <laughs> you are the major. You figure it out. My gate is open and my fruit is sweet. Bayek is spitting game. He doesn't have eye anymore, so he can do what he, do what he wants. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I once again apologize that you weren't able to see the actual ending of the main story. But if you liked this episode and if you liked my explanation of the ending, please hit the like button and um, subscribe for more. And then hit the notification bell to know when I'm uploading next. And share with anybody who enjoys the Assassin's Creed franchise. And make sure to uh, tell them to subscribe as well. Once again, I'll say thank you. And I will see you guys in the next episode.